All right, guys, so for this Holo Paladin guide, I'm actually going to hand you over to my friend Smew, who's an infinitely better Holo Paladin than me, since it is her main class. Just bear in mind, guys, that English isn't her first language, so be nice. Before I shut up, remember to subscribe to the channel if you want a good list of great add-ons and weak auras for the Holo Paladin, but anyway, I'll be quiet and let Smew take over. Hello, guys, my name is Smew, and welcome to my PvE Holo Paladin guide for Vratul the Lich King Classic. I'm going to introduce you two different builds which are both comfortably playable. Holy Tree is always the same because the talents that aren't learned are simply PvP talents. The Protection Tree is more optionable as only talent you go for is Divine Sacrifice and Improved Devotion Aura in this tree. It doesn't really matter if you put 3 points into Improved Righteous Fury because you will never use this buff or 4 to Taunus. Taunus has still some practical uses because of the slow effect reduction. Let's talk more deeply about Holy Talent in the rotation section. Now I want to show you the best and optionable glyphs. Glyph of Holy Light is a must-have glyph. Holy Paladin is built around this glyph and it's simply making this pet viable and also the strongest. The rest of my glyphs are optionable and their use depends on your playstyle and preferences. You can go for Glyph of Seal of Wisdom, which makes all your spells cheaper, so as example, your Holy Light costs 50 less mana. Its profit depends on the fight land and can give you one extra Holy Light in fight. The second option for this Glyph spot is Glyph of the Seal of Light. This personally fits me much better. This Glyph is increasing all healing by 5% and I think it's better because this will do much more than one extra Holy Light. If you prefer a safe option, go for Glyph of Seal of Wisdom, and if you want simply better HPS, go for Seal of Light. The last place for Major Glyph can be filled by Glyph of Beacon of Light or Glyph of Divinity. The Glyph of Beacon of Light increases duration by 30 seconds. It saves you one global cooldown during the boss fight in general, two and more globals on long term fight, which shouldn't be the case during phase 1. The Glyph of Divinity leads to using Clay of Hands on yourself to refund some mana. I would recommend Glyph of Beacon of Light as the fights are fast and you don't need another mana source. So, there are more professional combos, and again it depends on you which combo you will choose. You should choose one of these three combos. Jewel crafting plus tailoring, jewel crafting plus blacksmithing, jewel crafting plus engineering. My favorite combo is tailoring with jewel crafting. As I'm using Glyph of Seal of Light, I'm using Dark Glow Embroidery Enchant from Tailoring, which has 35 proc chance to restore you 400 mana with 60 second inner cooldown. This effect doesn't share inner cooldown with the metagame, so you can possibly get extra 2800 mana per minute if you're lucky on procs. This gives you pretty nice mana gain to prefer Glyph of Seal of Light over the Glyph of Seal of Wisdom. If we talk about blacksmithing in combo with jewel crafting, it's pretty straightforward. Blacksmithing has two extra sockets, one into gloves and the second two bracers. Third combo with jewel crafting is engineering. This profession adds you 15 second haste usable enchant on your glows, which is much better than a regular spell power enchant. You can also enchant your cloak with spell power and you have 20% stronger mana injectors and a lot of fun things to nitro boots for better mobility. Personal mailbox, wormhole, bombs, dynamites, auction house in Dalaran and many more. All of those are pairing with gel crafting, which is used for free extra big gems and really nice thing get for starter gear. Now we discuss stat priority. The most important stat for Holy Paladin is intellect. Thanks to this talent, 20% of your intellect are converted into spell power. Secondary stats are sorted as follows. Haste, crit, spell power and mana per 5. Well, focus mainly on haste rating to reduce your holy light cast times. You may ask why you get critical rating over SP and mana per 5. It's pretty simple. You get spell power from intellect, so you don't need to have spell power as main goal. And thanks to this talent, you get mana back from your crits. So mana per 5 is the last choice, expert spirit. You don't even need to have a single hit chance because you have from talent 4% hit for your judgment and should have 3% improve hit chance from Moonkin. So all your judgment should find their targets. 
for Hetzlovcraft the Googles if you are engineer. A really nice alternative is available after you reach Exalted with Argent Crusade. If you go for a Reputation Helm, you need to put a green game with Intel into it to perk intellect from bonus. It gives you 16 intellect as yellow game, but you will get also mana per 5 from green game. Best enchant for head is 30 spell power with 20 critical from Kirin Tor Rebeard. Shoulders should be filled with Tachronic Mantle, it's BOE. If they are too expensive for you, you can choose Mantle of the Tribunal from House of Stone or Spoulders of the Violet Hold from a uh, surprise from Violet Hold. This cloak or Ancient Dragon Spirit Cave from Oculus with plus 23 haste rating enchant. In chest slot, you want T7 chest with 2 plus 16 intel games and plus 10 all stat enchant. If you don't have golds for this enchant because it's pretty expensive, plus 8 all stats is pretty fine too. 10 man version of this chest cost 80 emblems of heroism, so it shouldn't be an issue. Alternative chest is Drake Queen Cravens from Oculus. For bracers, you want line regeneration bracers from Tractaron with plus 16 intellect enchant, and if you have blacksmithing, then also plus 16 intellect gem. Alternative drop is BOE drop, the bands of the fading light. There is really minor difference, but they are expensive. You want to rush for set bonus because the bonus is huge for you, even better with Cliff of Seal of Wisdom. So T7 gloves for 60 emblems. Alternative hands are traditionally tight hand guards. If you are engineer, this enchant is hyperspeed accelerator. If you are not engineer, then you will enchant plus 28 spell power. Oh, for belt slot you want uh, this one, but I can't really read it because <laughs> it's really hard for me, but I can try it. Magrot's Ma meditative since T. Since <laughs> I don't really know, I'm really sorry, uh, but it costs uh, 40 emblems. You will put here two plus 16 intel gems. An alternative option is Sesh of Blood Removal from Gundrak. Leggings of protective auras are really good. They are from Oculus, and you can put two plus 16 intel gems here with 50 spell power plus 40 stamina and chant. There are really not good alternative leggings, and in worst scenario, you can wear. Leggings of the Wind Serpent from Draktaron. Sandals of Crimson Fury, exalted from Wirmest Accord, 1 plus 16 Intel Gem. If you are engineer, you will enchant Nitro Boots. For necklace, you will go for Titanium Spell Shock Necklace. This is from Jello Crafting. And this next is really nice because of the socket. You can put plus 6 all stats here to proc your meta game. The best purpose ring is from Argent Crusade, Exalted Reputation, Sign of Hopeful Light. 50 intellect is really huge for ring. The second base ring is Sign of Kirin Tor. But if you don't have golds for this one, there is an alternative in Cooling of Stradholm, Band of Guile. There is few really good trinkets, but to obtain them it's pretty tricky. So number one is Dark Moon card. This trinket is going to be a beast trinket for a long time. You will change this somewhere around phase 3, but it's really expensive. The second best previs and also beast option is Soul Preserver. This trinket drops only in normal version in Cooling of Stratholm, the most boring dungeon. So you need to have a really good friend to farm it with you. It's just basically the better version of Gruul's Eye. Alternative trinket for this one is figuring from Jewel Crafting. You need to 400 skill to be able to wear this trinket. And last alternative is Gruul's Eye. So there's probably no chance you will form this one. The latest alternative trinket is from House of Stones. This is the weakest one, but easiest to farm. Weapon choice is simple. Maze from Nexus. It has so much intellect. Alternative option is from blacksmithing, the Dunsteel Guardian. And if you don't have golds, then you can purchase maze for Wirmest Accord. You need to farm this reputation anyway. You go for plus 30 intellect enchant for weapon. For offhand, you are interested in shield but cost 35 heroism. Until you farm it, there is an option to buy faces of doom. And if you don't have golds, you're going for temple crystal fragment from Draktaron. When you buy your shield, you want enchant for plus 25 intellect. And the last one is Libra. There is just one choice for 15 heroism and it reduces your mana cost of Holy Light. Best flask for Holy Paladin is Flask of the Distilled Wisdom. It gives you 65 intellect. Cheaper flask is the Flask of the Frost Worm 
but it's not that good. Best food is Imperial Mana Steak or Very Burnt Work. Both are pretty expensive, so just buy that one what will be cheaper. Or do daily cooking for <laughs> seasoning and craft them for yourself. <laughs> if you are an engineer, you want to use mana injectors thanks to its increased effect for mana sustain and haste potions. If you are not an engineer, you can also use mana injectors, but you don't have the bonus for it. There is also an elixir combo, which should be better than flask. And it's Curse, Elixir, Elixir of Lightning Speed and Elixir of Mire Touts, but I don't have personally tested it. Let's move to Healing Rotation. A rotation is pretty bad name for it because it's more like prioritizing. So before the fight starts, you will cast Beacon of Light with Sacred Shield to main tank. Immediately use Judgment of X as soon as the combat starts. I say it X because this is very questionable. Let's say first the most important thing. You will trigger with your judgement a talent that gives you haste buff for 1 minute. And there comes two ways how you can play it. You can recast judgement of light every 20 seconds for AOA healing, because paladins would have divinity in their talents, heal for 5% more, and if you have cliff of seal of light, it's another 5%. It's doing really nice healing, but there is a big but. Like, no, but, but, but. This healing source does not count to parses, so it's just for your feeling you heal more and better feeling to see so many green numbers on screen. Or you can simply recast it every one minute for buff and you can also use judgment of wisdom. It also depends on how many paladins are in the raid group. Your main spell is holy light. It's a big AoE healing spell, what you will use most. After you cast first holy light, you will proc a talent what gives you haste for another one holy light. If you need to save someone really quickly, you use Holy Shock plus Flash Heal combo. Because when your Holy Shock crits, your next flash is instant. Holy Shock have high crit chance from talent, but there is still a chance it will not crit. So if you want to be really sure, you can pop up your 100% crit chance buff for one cast before you use your combo. Let's talk about some tips and tricks. If you want to use Divine Plea, try always use it when the fight isn't that intense because it's lowering your healing down. But there are always some little spaces to pop it. If there's incoming really big damage to your group, you can pop bubble and divine sacrifice at once to cover it. This trick works just for your party, not the wall rate. It's also really useful in dungeons. If you run out of mana and your OCDs for mana restore are used, just go to the boss with seal of wisdom and judgment of wisdom and punch him few times. It will rest so much mana in few seconds. But be careful because at some bosses can be a deadly mechanic at melee. If there is a some boss where you need to use resistance aura, don't forget to use aura mastery in intense situation. For example, on Saffiron when Iceberg drops or Keltuzad while he cast AoE first bolt. And that's pretty much all about Holy Paladin. If I forgot something, just let me know in comments. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to let us know and I can do more videos like this. My name is Mil and ciao!